Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer, and we're going to be talking about the arithmetic exam. So, if you're watching this video, um, you likely know what the AccuPlacer is, or been told you have to take it. Uh, just a quick um, summary. Basically, the AccuPlacer, right? There's different type of AccuPlacer exams. Uh, in math and other subjects and whatnot, but basically it's going to determine uh, your how well you do on these exams. It's going to determine where you're going to be uh, placed into your particular college or secondary um, uh, program. So it's very important that you really study hard for these exams because you may be at a level that you're you, you may you should be placed at a certain level. Okay, and then the level that should be is where your potential is at. Right? If you don't if you get placed beneath your um, potential, then that means you're going to have to go back and, and spend a lot of time and money taking courses that you don't really need to. OK, so, you know, it's extremely important that you take these uh, tests uh, serious. And there's other tests other than the AccuPlacer, but this is a very popular exam. And of course, this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the arithmetic which is the basic uh, uh, math exam. And specifically, we're going to just talk about number operations. It's not going to be a complete lesson on it, just kind of a review, get you to kind of think about some things. Before I get going, uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I hope you consider subscribing. I literally have hundreds of videos. If you like my teaching style, um, of course, I'm a math teacher. If you like uh, the way I teach, you'll find a lot of uh, great material um, on my channel to help you prepare for the exam. Now. I also have a specific test prep course for the AccuPlacer arithmetic exam. I'll leave the link in that uh, course for that course in the description if you're interested. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into number operations. And for the AccuPlacer, the arithmetic, if you you've probably heard the name, you you know what that refers to. Arithmetic is basically kind of like you can kind of think of it as elementary or middle school math. But I think a lot of people will, will hear this word and be like, oh, that's just kind of real easy math. It's non-algebra. There's not going to be any variables and, and things along that. So they kind of, you know, I'm generalizing here, but a lot of students will, um, they don't give it the respect, let's, let's say, that arithmetic should have. Because a lot of people think they can do arithmetic, and, and guess what? They're not as good in it as they think. All right. And you need to be an expert at arithmetic to, to do very well on this exam. OK. And one of the things, you know, when you first start um, studying arithmetic, you know, in terms of the AccuPlace or whatnot, you, we really want to understand number operations. So that's going to be the focus of this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So let's look at this word. We have two words here, number operations. Right. So if you look at it, and let's just kind of break it up, number and operation. So number. Now, what type of numbers? Well, numbers that we're used to in arithmetic, okay? So like whole numbers, one, two, three, et cetera. We can have decimals, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. We can have uh, fractions, one half, three, and two fifths, et cetera. So there's... Numbers can come in a variety of different kind of formats, if you will. Now, I'm kind of generalizing here. We're going to be dealing with something called the real number system. Okay. And you might be saying, well, real numbers, what's that? Well, there's there's things other than the real number system. In more advanced mathematics, there's something called the complex number system. But the real number system is all the numbers that fall on a number line. Okay. So we have zero here in the middle. And the more we go to the right... The larger numbers get. So we have one, two, etc. And then we have all sorts of numbers in between these other integer values. And we have zero, then when we go this way, we have negative numbers, negative one, negative two, etc. Okay, so we have all these positive and negative numbers that we could put on a number line. We refer to this as the real number line. Okay. So all these numbers in their variety of different forms, and I kind of gave you some examples here, decimals, no. Uh, whole numbers or integers. In other words, we could have like negative one, negative two, negative three fractions. We could have negative fractions, positive fractions, negative decimals, positive decimals. All this stuff is what we are thinking about when we talk about number operations. Okay. Now, the second thing is this word operations. So what does that mean? Well, let's take two numbers. 
let's take five and let's take three. Okay, so we have our numbers here. And we want to do something with those numbers, right? So it is math. What, what can we do with those numbers? Well, we can add them. We can subtract them. We can multiply them. Uh, and we can divide them. Okay, so these here are what we call number operations, right? So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and uh, division, right? So I have two numbers. Basically, what we can do with them, you know, how we can combine them are called operations. So number operations are all these basic operations that we need to be able to, um, uh, you know, master. And this is kind of the fundamentals of arithmetic, okay? Now, these number operations here, have names, okay? So five plus three, that's one way we can kind of refer to this problem, okay? Or what we would like to do. Let's kind of do it over here for a second. Let's do it this way. Five plus three, five minus three, five times three, and five divided by three. Okay, so when we're talking about number operations, you want to know the respective terms, okay, the vocabulary, if you will. So we have five plus three, five, five plus three, boy, I kind of had a little tongue twister there. What's another way of uh, saying five plus three? Okay, before I say it, why don't you think about it for a second? Five plus three, how's it, what's another way you can describe that? All right, so you can use the word sum, okay? So I could say, what's the sum of five plus three? Okay, so if you are asked to find the sum of 5 plus 3, it means to add, right? So we have add, addition, all those different type of things. So sum is very important. Now, following this kind of pattern, what would be the uh, another way of saying 5 minus 3? Well, we can use the word difference, okay? So that refers to subtraction as well. So the difference of 5, minus, uh, five and 3, the difference of 5 and 3, okay? So... Again, when we talk about basic number and number operations, we kind of have to get our fundamental vocabulary down. All right, so we have five times three. What would be the respective word or term, vocabulary term that goes along with that? That's the product, okay? So we're looking for the product of uh, five and three. Now the product refers to the actual answer. Okay, so the product of five and three is 15. The sum of five and three is eight, okay? And then we um, we go down here and we finish up with division, and this is going to be the word quotient, okay? Quotient, I'm just kind of uh, abbreviating there. So we have the quotient of 5 and 3. So product, uh, quotient, difference, sum. Okay, you need to be familiar with these words because you might be given a, um, a math prom, um, and it's written out for you. Okay, you don't actually see the actual operations. Now these things are actually called operators. So you may not see it in this way. You might see it verbally. Okay. So again, this very basic video, we're just kind of, um, kind of stretching our math legs, if you will, just to get the uh, flow going here to, uh, master arithmetic. Now let's take a look at some um, problems, and this is going to kind of get into another subject, which I'm not going to get into. I'm just going to introduce this to you. So let's say I have something like this. Let me write this first, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so this type of problem, okay, something like this, you're going to have to be able to, like, absolutely master these type of problems. There's a lot, kind of a lot going on here. Now for me, this is pretty straightforward, but still I would have to focus and do this problem step by step by step. Okay. This is an arithmetic type of problem. Now for the AccuPlacer, you're, you're going to be, let's just kind of do something here real quick. Just uh, kind of go off on a tangent. Okay. So we have elementary school, middle school, and high school. So in elementary school, we do problems like this, right? We might do like 5 minus uh, 3, okay? 5 minus 3 is what? Well, hopefully you said 2, okay? And you'd be correct. But this answer here is positive 2. 
Now in middle school, we start expanding what type of numbers we're going to be dealing with. In other words, we start getting into positive and negative numbers. They're still real numbers, but we're going to have to kind of, you know, we're going to have to start getting a foundation so we can kind of eventually in high school start getting into algebra and all this other stuff. So what if I gave you this problem, 3 minus 5? 3 minus 5. Now, is 3 minus 5 the same as, the, as this problem here, 5 minus 3? Now, if you're, you know, pretty well, if you're doing pretty well here with me, you would say, oh, no, 3 minus 5 is negative 2, okay? This is a negative number. Now, it's still on the, the real number line, but this concept of a negative number is something that's less than 0 is generally introduced at the middle school level, almost never really at the elementary. And this is up to, like, say, grade 5. This would be 6 through 8, etc. So you really start learning this. Why do I know this? Because I taught <laughs> six all the way through college, okay? So when you teach all these grades, you kind of, you know, you're familiar with it, okay? Now, for the placer, of course, you're not looking to go into middle school or high school. You're done with all that. You're looking to, you know, get into some a secondary education. So you're going to need to know these positive and negative numbers. That's a separate topic. Um, uh, again, you know, if you're interested in some sort of formal course, you can check out my course or, or do another course, but you have to kind of build all these skills up. Anyways, why is that relevant? Well, when we look at a problem like this, okay, you, a lot of people might just think, oh, there's not going to be any negative numbers involved, okay, uh, but in fact, there certainly uh, can be, okay, and down here in the denominator, 7 minus 9, right, this is going to give us, what, a negative 2. So, again, what I'm trying to do is what we already talked about what our number of operations are, but now, like, how do we, you know, how's it relevant to what we're talking about here? Okay, so let's talk about a problem like this. Let's just identify a few things, and, and then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, so we have this 2 here, and then we have this stuff right here, okay? Now, we're looking at this, and we're like, okay, what do I do here first? So I do 10 minus 8. Then I have this power, right, square. That's a whole other topic. And then this 2, the 2 outside the parentheses right here, this means multiplication, actually. So there's a lot going on here. We're like, what order do I go in? What do I do first? You know, some people, you know, they just might be a little bit lost. If you do this in the wrong order, okay, you're going to obviously get the uh, problem incorrect. That's why in order to do a problem like this, not only do you need to understand number operations, here we have subtraction, subtraction, addition, this, anything, a number outside of a parentheses, whether you have a 10 minus 8 or a number like this, this is multiplication. And then all of this right here, this is a fraction bar, but this is really division. Okay, so that means that whatever this turns out to be, whatever final number, we're going to divide that by whatever this turns out to be as a final number. Okay, so this is actually division right here. So... In order to take this to your next to the next step, we're going to need to understand the order of operations. Okay, order of operations to do this problem. Okay, we're also going to need to understand dealing with real numbers. Okay, and what I mean by that is you're going to understand all the rules to positive and negative numbers. And if I really want it to be difficult, let's be a little difficult here. What if I had seven minus 9 and 1, yeah, let's even be more difficult. Why not? 7 and 2 fifths minus 9 and 1 third. Now that's being like really mean, right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, you know, depending on how I feel and if was this, you were in my math class, would I give you this pop quiz? Nah, we'll see. But, you know, I certainly wouldn't give you a problem like this until I knew you could master the easier numbers. But what I'm getting at is, you need to know how to deal with fractions as well. So you got fractions going on, positive, negative numbers going on, which include fractions or decimals and everything else. So what's the the gist of this video? Okay, the gist of this video is that you're going to have to uh, really focus, and there's just no way of getting around mastering all these concepts to do extremely well in arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic is extremely important in algebra and in more advanced mathematics, okay? If I have something like this, let's see here. If 
Okay, I, I wrote this thing out, and I said evaluate, and then I gave you values for each one of these particular uh, variables. I would basically take, and this is a very kind of common problem in algebra, basically I'm taking a, an algebra problem like this and turning it into an arithmetic problem. And through the years, many years, and I don't know, tens of thousands, I, don't, I can't even count how many um, <clears throat> things I've graded through the years where students mess up, they don't mess up with the concept of algebra. They always tend to make a lot of errors when they're um, uh, managing their work doing all the arithmetic. Okay, so bottom line is this, okay, just because you're, you're at a basic level, you know, math for the AccuPlacer does not mean that it's like um, that you shouldn't put a lot of effort in focus, okay, this is an extremely important part of uh, mathematics in general, right? So one of the first uh, places that you want to really focus on is those number operations and this, you know, kind of quick of... Uh, video outlined a lot of that stuff but again many of the topics that you're going to have to uh, you know master as well order of operations and all these other type of things that we talked about real numbers and fractions etc okay let's go ahead and wrap this up now again um, if you like my teaching style and the thing about it is you know i really suggest you know with uh, today's technology and all the videos find us find a teacher that you uh, can understand, right? You like learning from. If that's me, that's awesome. Okay, and if that's the case, uh, I would certainly encourage you to subscribe as I'm posting all the time. I do a lot of uh, videos on various math topics and tests, etc. Um, just because I'm passionate about mathematics, a lot of people need to learn math for all certain, all different types of reasons, whether it's to get their GED or uh, the acupuncture or whatever the case is. You know, the math is everywhere, okay? So I'm always posting. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. Again, if you want my specific uh, prep course on this, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can check that out. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, definitely uh, would like a thumbs up if you don't mind. And then lastly, leave me some feedback, okay? Uh, it's the only way I know how I'm doing. gives me ideas on, uh, you know, future videos to make. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on AccuPlacer. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.